Hello. Uh, today we're looking at how to mass convert EPUB files to Mobi files. Um, EPUB files are commonly available, free ebooks on the www. Uh, if you've got a Kindle, then you may want to download the free books and transfer them to your Kindle. Um, so I've written some code that will allow you to place as many EPUB files as you want, one, ten, a hundred, thousand into a directory. It will convert every single one of those into a Mobi file. Um, the Mobi file, uh, I don't know if you know, but you can actually email that to uh, your Kindle address. So when you set your Kindle up, you can create an email address for it. So um, Mr. Blobby at Kindle.com. Email the Mobi file to that email address and then do a sync on your Kindle. And um, yeah, and then magically it will appear. So that's nice. So if you're ready to look at the code, this is not really a tutorial. Um, it's um, a demonstration of the code that I've written. You need Calibre, which is free, open source, multi cross platform. Um, make a donation to it if you can, because it's yeah, it's taken a huge amount of work and it's an amazing code program. Um, yeah, so I'll let you have a look at my code. I'll show you it running. If you like it, use it. If you don't, well, I'll be back very soon because this um, this is effectively the final part of my next project. I'm working backwards. So once I've got the converter working, which I have, I then will proceed to write a scraper that will go off and fetch me loads of EPUB ebooks to read on my Kindle. Uh, so if that sounds like a good idea and you'd like to see me, I think that'll probably be scrapey. So uh, yeah, stay tuned, come back for that. Thanks for watching as always. Thank you. Okay, so this is not a tutorial. This will be a demonstration of the code I've already written. I will explain a few bits and then I will show you it converting multiple EPUB files to Mobi format. Now as I mentioned that will allow me to create a web scraper to go off and download multiple EPUB files because that is the general standard format that you will be able to find them and then once you've got the EPUB files we'll convert them using this code and then they will be ready to email to your Kindle. Um, I'm not sure if everyone's familiar with emailing to your Kindle but if you have a Kindle you will be able to create a kindle.com email address and then you will be able to email to it. So um, let's just um, clear the screen and I'll just show you what we've got here. So um, e -P to KIN is the file we're interested in and um, sudo let's show you in the text editor EP and I'm just opening up micro which I did a video on recently um, here we go so um, we're using the OS modules to check if files exist and make directories so we're ignoring PDFs because what we're going to do is we're going to have a directory which is our downloads directory and then we are going to put all of our EPUB files in that directory and then we are going to have two other directories which will be um, ebooks slash kindle which is where the Mobi files will live and we will have proce ebooks processed which is where the epub source files will be moved to once the conversion has taken place so um, then I check if the 
directories already exist. If they don't, then obviously that's a problem. So I create those directories and then the user needs to then obviously put something in those directories to convert because otherwise nothing to convert, you're not going to get any output. So um, I've created a function here, convert files. Um, these two just sort the file names and the file extensions. Um, I f the original code that I, s I found was attempting to use AZW3. However, Amazon don't actually uh, permit you to send that. They specify Mobi, so um, yeah, Mobi it is. Uh, so here we're just checking for the file name and then we call a sub process which is calling ebook-convert which is Calibre. So as I put it at the start uh, at the top you must install Calibre for this to work. If you don't it won't work this code will fail. Um, so once we've sorted all the directories, we've got the source files in the correct places. Um, well, the files are in the downloads folder. If the files are in the download folder and uh, the code's made the, the correct folders for you, you're laughing. So what you need to do is put some folder EPUB files in the downloads folder and then you need to run this code. Um, and then for every file in that downloads folder it will try and convert it. Um, if we go back up to the top one last thing to show you I've added a progress bar so if you're downloading converting even a hundred files you'll get a hundred uh, sort of you'll get a progress bar going from one to a hundred and you can sort of you can see what's going on. Uh, so we're ignoring PDFs we don't want to convert those uh, we're making the directories, we run the code. Um, if there are any source files, it will convert them. If there aren't, then it will say no files to convert. So if you're ready to see it run, let's save that. Control S in micro, Control Q to quit. Uh, sudo, let me just show you what I've got in my directory because we need something in there and so we go to downloads we've got a ebooks directory which is where you need to put your ebooks so yeah you don't just put them in downloads because obviously you don't want you know all your <laughs> all your personal downloads being <laughs> converted to ebooks not that it would anyway so ebooks is where you put your epub files or where eventually I will automate it so that Scrapey will save the EPUBs into this level. So home downloads ebooks and Kindle is where they will where the Mobis will appear and then processed is where these three will be moved to after I've run the code. So if you're ready to see that happen, let's go. It takes a while, it's obviously doing a fair bit behind the scenes. And I've done the wrong thing, haven't I? So it helps if you type Python 3. It helps if you're not stupid. Now, my excuse is that I'm talking and thinking ahead whilst talking. So you can see it's converted. Um, I forget what the first book was. But it's done it. Converting Mobi Pocket Markup compressing content. I'm glad I only chose three to show you otherwise we would be here for a long time and uh, that would probably get uh, a few angry comments. So it's on the second book now. There we go. You can see the progress but uh, is on uh, very quickly you saw the progress bar was two thirds of the way along. It, that meant it's converted two out of the three books. And we're on book three now. And there we go, 100% on the progress bar. Uh, output saved two. So if we look in 
Home RG Downloads eBooks Kindle, we should have three files. And sure enough, we have three Mobi files, which you can then uh, copy onto uh, your desktop or just drag into your Gmail or whatever and email to whatever your name is uh, at kindle.com. You have to uh, set up that email address in Kindle, Amazon, Amazon Kindle, blah, blah, blah. Um, ebooks seen that there were three files there before they've gone they've been put into processed which yeah, processed archived call it what you want but they're still there so if you need them you can uh, retrieve them from there for future use conversion whatever or you could just delete them up to you so I hope this demonstration has been interesting it's been a demonstration the code is on github look at that at your leisure I don't want to bore you with talking through it. Um, look at the code, download it, test it, test it with your own EPUB books. If you have any issues, add a comment onto the bottom of this video in YouTube. And um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll be back soon and I will demonstrate how I used it with Scrapey to download ebooks and convert them and send them to my kindle so um yeah thanks for watching as always and don't forget to uh what was it ah uh, yeah subscribe so see you around yeah